So folks, next up we have a realistic TRC-474. It's also an AM uh, CB radio, uh, a little mobile, small. That's my hand compared to the mobile, so it's it's fairly small. Uh, the features of this radio include a lot more than the 415. This one includes the CBPA Plus monitor, a &L off and on, it's your emergency channel 9 on or off, has your modulation indicator, antenna warning light, uh, channel 9, your transmit power from uh, 3 to 9 over, uh, down below you have your volume on and off power, your squelch, RF gain, tone and channel selector. And that's the front. It's a fully featured CB uh, mobile radio, including your uh, external speaker on back and your uh, PA speaker on back, or PA jack, I should say, on back. And power output on this one, we have a grand total of test one two one two one two one two. One two three. One two three. One two three. So we have a grand total of 3 watts from this one. So it's a little bit low on the, on the power, but uh, I'm sure a little bit of alignment can get that up to 4 watts where it should be. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it has chrome. It's a chromey looking radio. It has a chrome fascia on it, which is cool. Nice chrome knobs. Very nice indeed. Uh, so we'll... Uh, We'll take a look at the inside of, of the TRC-474 and see what the quality build of this radio is. But I will make a note of the tone control before I open it up. Tone control is very nice. As you can tell. Tone control is very really nice to have on the radio. For obvious reasons. Anyways, let's uh, let's get the uh, covers off and have a look on the inside, shall we? Right, so the inside of the TRC 474. So we'll start off with the PLL chip over here in this corner. We have the uh, RF output right here in this corner. Had pre-driver there. Uh, we have an audio chip right here, main audio out for a chip, microphone, uh, the 10240 crystal, crystal filter up here, uh, the SWR uh, monitor board basically is right here, and you have a little couple controls here, and here, and here, and here, basically fine tuning different, uh, different segments of the radio, and then you have your VCO right here in this corner. So there you have it. Not a whole lot inside of her. Um, the front of her is all circuit board. And uh, it's not bad. Uh, build to take note. I believe this is the channel selector you're looking for, by the way. For your 850. Very, it could possibly be this one here. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that one. But uh, anyways, let's take a look at the solder side of a TRC-474. As well, I will take a note that uh, this radio got awfully warm at some point in its life as the input coil right here is charred. So it makes me wonder if this radio got hooked up backwards one time in its life. Good possibility of it. Okay, and then we have the solder side of the TRC-474. Um, right off the bat, we can see damage over here. I'll zoom into it. So the radio was definitely hooked up backwards sometime in its lifetime that it uh, destroyed the protection diode. Um, you got your audio amp here, your final, your SWR board again right here, PLL over here, and uh, the front of the radio is all solder joints. Yes, we all know how much fun these guys are when they get bad. Because all kinds of lovely and glorious problems with uh, with radios, everything from transmit modulation to no receive to no transmits, it's uh, they cause a lot of grief. Um, it's a nice radio on the outside, possibly a nice radio 
to use but uh, personally what I've discovered with these kind of solder joints is not to use this type of radio in a very heavy vibration environment such as a uh, off-road vehicle <laughs> grader loader you know that kind of thing anything with a lot of vibration I would not recommend using a TRC 434 in that environment 434 no 474 call it wrong all law TRC 474 there you go yeah 474 anyways so this is a TRC 474 next up will be the unit and president AX14. Hang tight.